Put your faith in the light. Hello guys, welcome to another one of my videos. Sadly, in this one, I've got bad news. In a recent blue post, Retribution Auto has been removed from the game. Yes, you heard it right, it's been totally wiped out. On top of that, some of our talents are getting nerfs and proc changes. But it's not all doom and gloom. Uh, we did get some compensation buffs in the form of Templar Strikes. And well, with that being said, let's go into the blue post. Okay guys, we're at the blue post and as you can see, Retribution Aura has been removed from the game. And the developer's note says, As a part of our process of examining raid buffs, we come to the decision to remove Retribution Aura in order to reduce restrictions on group compositions. We believe that the utility options additional paladins are able to bring is sufficiently valuable without becoming oppressive. This basically means that they were not okay with two paladins in each group, one that had Devotion Aura and the other one that had Retribution Aura. So with this change, hopefully they can get damage tuning right so we can stand on our own as a decent DPS spec. This is because groups will most likely only want one paladin in general for that Devotion Aura. They also talk about our other utility, but to be honest, while in group content it's incredibly strong, in raids they are very, very situational. Two spells that come into my mind are Blessing of Protection and Blessing of Freedom. Both are useful, don't get me wrong, but the applications for them are very few and far between. This change came out of nowhere, I'm guessing the Shaman raid buff had something to do with it, but I don't want to be unfair with Shamis, they were shafted for a very long time. While it's sad that it happened, Paladins have endured worse, and I'm pretty sure we'll still be strong for most content in the next expansion. Okay, the next change is to Auras of Swift Vengeance Talent Node, that will be replaced with Crusader Aura. So this is one change I would like them to make, since this is a forced talent point that we have to put into Crusader Aura, I would rather them force us to put that point into Devotion Aura, because that Aura is a lot more useful than Crusader, you know, Crusader just makes your mount go faster while Devotion gives you that 3% damage reduction. Okay, up next we have some retribution specific changes. Expurgations has been buffed to now last 9 seconds instead of 6. This is just a nice quality of life, meaning that expurgation will now have a really high uptime on any target. Uh, Templar Strikes now only has 1 charge, down from 2 charges, but they have also buffed the first hit of Templar Strike by 50% and the second hit by 125%. Note that that second hit will also leave a dot on your targets, so it's a pretty substantial buff to Templar Strikes. I think now it can actually come with crusading strikes okay and the last change in the blue post is an issue with art of war blade of justice reset triggering more than it should has been fixed so yeah this was a bug although it's a nerf it was a bug then it was going to be fixed anyway so yeah your blade of justice is going to trigger a bit less but we should still be fine now to check the other changes we have to go to the other post which is basically data mine stuff from the classes Okay, so here they made a lot of changes that they didn't mention in the main blue post. So one of them is to judge jury and executioner. And so holy power generating abilities have a, they removed the percentage chance of this happening to make your next final verdict, just a curse vengeance or Templar's verdict hit three additional targets. And they also nerfed the, the damage here. It no longer is 100% effective. It's only 80% effective. So both the proc, the proc rate and the, the damage have been nerfed. Oh, by the way, the proc rate is now uh, three procs per minute plus hasted. So while it's going to proc pretty often because of the hasted part, it's no longer as incredibly strong as it was, uh, but it's still going to see play because it's free cleave on our single target rotation, which is always good. So we already talked about the Templar Strike changes, but here we can actually check the, the change in the value. So it went from 90% of attack power to 135 attack power on the first hit, and on the second hit it went from 111 attack power to 250% of attack power. Uh, the burn is still also there, so that's going to be 50% of that 250% attack power value. So all in all, is Templar Strikes is going to be extremely powerful and be able to compete with Crusading Strikes. Okay, and the last change is to Bangers of Justice. While this actually isn't a change because it does nothing in the beta, I think this is a premonition of what's to come to Bangers of Justice. So, enemies hit by other holy power spending abilities take 30% increased damage from your next Divine Storm stacking up to 2 times. This doesn't do anything in game because the rank 1 makes it so when you can stack it up to 3 and the rank 2 up to 5. So this 3 to 2 nerf doesn't actually do anything. But like I said, this is a premonition. I'm thinking they are going to nerf Bangor for Justice stacks, so it's not as effective in the future. And that's the end of the video, guys. I know nerfs suck, but don't be discouraged by them. There's still a lot of beta to come, and they still have to tune a lot of things. Trust me, we will endure. Anyways, if you enjoy my content, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone.